What up, people? Welcome to episode number two of Storytime with Tim. Let's do this. So the idea of these videos are to bring fun ideas to your weddings, various trends that you guys are gonna be seeing in weddings, and you'll get to learn a little bit more about our DJs here at TLS Entertainment, how uniquely awesome we all are. All right, so we're gonna begin today by talking a little bit about a real wedding we had back in June. This wedding was out in my act called Wandering Oaks. Really cool venue, kind of like a barn setting. Um, the ceremony is beautiful. I was asked to be a part of a huge surprise for the couple's guests. So, what was it? The bride wanted me to announce in a very creative way that she was pregnant with baby number two. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. So, some of the things that we do at, during weddings, you know, there are certain like, games. You've got the anniversary dance, you've got the dollar dance. Not really games, but you know, formal activities that you can do. Incorporate all of your guests. Um, in this particular one, it's called the Newlywood Game. Also known as the Shoe Game, or Barbie and Ken Doll Game. I have the bride and groom sitting back to back in the chair, middle of the dance floor, each holding a Barbie and a Ken Doll, both of them. I will ask questions, has to be a who question. Typically, who asked out who first, who said I love you first, that sort of thing. I also go around during dinner or cocktail hour and I will talk to the guests and say, hey, what kind of questions would you like to ask the bride and groom? So guests know the bride and groom extremely well, hopefully. Um, so I like to get some you know, really personal questions uh, and I get some really good ones. Of course, the guests want to, want to hear their anonymous question asked and then see what the bride and groom have to say. Super fun. In this case, I had one question from the bride and groom and they wanted me to announce or ask who is expecting baby number two? I have one last question for y'all. One last question for y'all. You guys ready for this one? Who is pregnant with baby number two? It was a pretty cool experience. Guests had no idea. I mean, they already had baby number one, which you saw in that video. Really cool, fun way to announce that you are expecting a second little one, especially during your wedding. Like, how do you one up your wedding, right? Like, you one it up, you one up it by announcing you have baby number two on the way. All right. So next thing I want to talk to you guys about. Let's get on the topic of cakes, dessert. All right. Typically, you see, you know, you have a cake. Uh, we do cake cuttings and so forth. Did a wedding a couple weeks ago uh, at Baker's Ranch. Uh, it's in Parrish, Florida. Beautiful setting. And in this particular wedding, instead of doing a normal cake, this couple decided to do a cookie cake, like a full-on cookie cake with layers and layers and layers of cookies. And they actually had bobblehead dolls that looked just like them as their cake topper. Like, super cool. Um, and this is something that I thought was super interesting. You don't see a lot. Um, but in lieu of doing cake, I, you know, we've seen uh, cupcakes, we've seen donuts, uh, done donut walls, cookie cakes, uh, you know, just different things other than a regular, cook, uh, regular cake. So if you don't want to do a cake, you don't have to. Different ideas, different trends that are happening. You can do a donut wall, you can do cupcakes, whatever, cake pops, you know, order a whole dessert spread. You don't even have to do a cake cutter. Just, hey, dessert's ready, ready and available, just go ahead and add it. But, just something cool, a little bit different um, to maybe incorporate into your big day. Another cool idea that we saw, again, this was, this is another wedding at Baker's Ranch. We're a preferred vendor at Baker's Ranch, so we're there quite often. Social distancing wristbands, like how cool is that? Now that we're kind of seeing a rise in COVID numbers again, uh, this, is a, this is just a great way to kind of make your guests a little bit, you know, feel a little bit more comfortable. In the event of COVID, we're still unsure. Social distancing wristbands. Green means I'm here for hugs. Yellow means I'll give elbow bumps. Red means I'll wave from six feet. Always a solid option for your wedding day. That way, so you just wear, wear these wristbands throughout the throughout the entire night. So if you have, if you see somebody with a green wristband on, that, and you have a green one on, hey, go and give them a hug. Go and dance with them. Go and have a good time. If you see somebody with the yellow, then, you know, keep your distance. Give a little, you know, elbow bump. And then if you see red, by all means, keep distance. They'll keep their distance. They're still there to have a good time. So we don't want to judge anybody, but another really cool idea to 
incorporate into your wedding in the event that uh, you know COVID numbers continue to spike or you just want to be on the safe side. And that's going to wrap it up for us people. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to A Story Time with Tim. I am DJ Tim, owner and premier DJ with TLS Entertainment. Until next time, say yes to TLS. <laughs>